Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later, and welcome to Hillian's Hub with me, uh, well, Hillian, and well, along with me is. Here. The hungry. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, part of that got cut off at the start, but but yeah, Dirk here, my eternal co-commentator. And yeah, we're testing the <laughs> VTuber model again. And this time, well, without the stupid borders around the game. So uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> you don't have an ugly border around everything. Wait, Not really sure why I started. Eternal? Hmm? What do you mean, eternal? <laughs> because I... You've been in pretty much every stream since we started recording, except for Soul Reaver 1, I think. I don't remember signing only eternity. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you read the uh, small print. Lord, the accursed alchemist. Anyways, uh, welcome to Showcase Sunday. And no, the, there is no sound at the moment because the game has stopped its sound, which... Uh, yeah, they don't loop the main menu sound. <laughs> I guess that's a point against it already. Uh, uh, where we it give depends. Huh? It can be a point for it. It depends very much on the, what kind of music it plays. Yeah, but if the music is annoying, <laughs> then you, I think it'd be a better idea to well, change the music instead of having it stop. Uh, <clears throat> anyways... Um, Showcase Sunday, what we do here is we give up to four games about 15 to 30 minutes to see if that's any fun for streaming in the future. And I, I, mine, I minorly vet the games before we try them, just so we don't end up with uh, something stupid and to see if it even works with OBS, because we've had in the past where it, well, wouldn't. Yeah, we had so, one, actually one only recently, some weeks ago, which was... Mad enough, Starbound. Yeah. Which did not want to be streamed. Anyways, let's give this one its 30 minutes. This is Tank Mechanic Simulator. So let's start. Simulator I'm games like this have been quite uh, the thing recently. And it's very half track. Let's see. Welcome to your workshop. In this area, a player, uh, player can renovate the tank that is currently stationed inside the area or tanks. The player unlocks level 2 of the workshop with multiple tank slots. Uh, F1 to open gen uh, and G to highlight interesting objects. Okay. Yeah, simulated games like this have been quite the... Uh, what do I call it? Yeah, trend in at least some part in time. Uh, you mean like double cross out? Uh, not like that, uh, so give me a moment. 
Yeah, the tracking seems to be narrow. off a bit. And reset position. There we go. Hide that again. Uh, yep. <clears throat> it's click to open panel. Cannot move panel. The room is empty. Okay. And we have a bunch of oh. tools here. Let's see. Hammer. Hammer allows to disassemble tank part with a single direct hit on it. Any tank part that is targeted by the player with the pointer that is hit by the hammer after clicking the left mouse button will fall off. Remember, each uh, tank part condition gets decreased on hit. Okay. So, let's put that back. Okay. I, if, if Funny fact here. When I saw the tutorial talking about email, what, wait, why does it want your access to your email? I yeah, I realized they the that. mean in-game uh, email from that thing. Oh, yeah. God, that's that old model. Let's see. This panel allows to email, open email manager, organizer, tank part shop, and the bank. Okay. Let's see. Select email and accept contract. This panel allows to manage received emails. Player can open the emails by clicking on them. When a mail uh, is selected, player can accept a contract or decline it. Additionally, player can filter the emails by their state. All archives. By pressing X button. Okay. Can be deleted. Let's see. New start. I've heard that you've taken over the tank business after your father. I'm sending my condolences. He was my dear friend. Now, I want to help you start. Here is my proposition. Disassemble and and repair broken parts in my key V1. Then assemble the repaired parts back. Good luck. Okay. I know a friend who would probably like this game quite a bit, just from the fact that it's all tanks. A so, bit of a tank fanatic? Yeah, not very fully tank, but more World War II in general. Now let's see. We need to ah. take this part off the tow rope. Okay. And wait, how do we get out? Let's see. Click and hold right to disassemble it. Okay, remove those as well. And mouse free to radio menu. Storage. Okay. And, uh, this panel allows to uh, control the tank part the player has uh, or had disassembled from a tank. Crafted in crafting panel, bought in the tank part shop. When player selects a tank mark, uh, all three parts that are compatible with that in this uh, tank are listed. Okay. And let's see. Order the selected part for repairs. So outsource repairs. Okay. And see, can we? Yeah, we can mo select multiple. There we go. That is that does cost us. And okay, we can interrupt it as it goes as well. But for now, how do we get out of this? Um, I'm, I'm, how do I get out of this? Escape? Yes, escape. Okay, that works. Okay, we can just wait for it to finish up. And in the meantime, we can look around. Upgrade panel? What is this? This panel allows you know, to unlock various upgrades of three types. Tools, business, and passives. Okay. New tools. Paint room. Okay. I very much doubt that we'll have enough money to upgrade anything at the moment. Let's see. Tablet allows you to quickly access the control panel remotely. Reputation uh, needed. Okay, we can actually get some of these at least. Um, let's do that then. Even for just the ease of use. Angle grinder allows you to merge two tools into one, cutting off elements with rusted bolts and grinding the rust off of uh, elements. Okay. Let's see. Quad extraction missions. What allows even faster and more agile movement in the extraction mission? What the heck are these extraction missions? Oh, and some stuff is done. Uh, parking level on allows more tank slots in your warehouse. Hmm. Well, I'm not seeing any at the moment. Okay. Yeah, I think something with the preferred mod god is called mod god. Yeah. 
Okay. Let's see. Um, assembly mode. Okay. So we click on this, and then we, yeah, we do the same to basically <laughs> pull it back in place. Uh, okay, I control this with the. Okay. That focuses the camera on the part that was moved or selected, which is a bit of a annoyance. But uh, can probably be worked around. Now then. Computer. Let's Mail. check on my food. So don't die. Let's see. We have found a tank from Chris. Uh, hey, we have run into information that there is a tank ready to be extracted. Are you interested? Uh, first, organizer, since we have to send this thing back. This panel allows you to manage current active contracts. Player can terminate any contract at any time. If the contract is an extraction mission, player can start the mission here. Remember that terminating a contract before it reach, uh, before reaching its goals, we will sell enough fee. So basically, don't. Okay. And we got paid for that, and we started with quite a good amount of money, actually. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Yeah, are you surviving? Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's take this extraction mission. Or actually, it's not the one that it wants, apparently. So let's take a look at this one. Shopping time. From Uncle Tom. I have another tank. This time to be assembled. Now, you need to buy missing parts from my T3476 in the online shop and then assemble them. Good luck. Okay. Uh, yeah, this one is missing some parts. Okay, approach the tank, open the radio menu. And, okay, we have a bit more here now. Uh, highlighted option to... Pref There's nothing highlighted. Um, is this one? No. That's the... <laughs> okay. What highlighted button? Open shop menu. There is... Yeah, it's... Yeah. That's also a thing with these simulator games that they often have missing parts and feel incomplete. Maybe in part because as a bit of a trend they were slapped together pretty quickly, some of them. Yeah. Uh, God, uh, this reminded me of something I just saw. I think you saw it this week, actually, for MK, a YouTuber. Uh, something about that happened in Netherlands. I don't know the reason, or probably several years ago, that two 11-year-olds found something and threw, threw it together uh, between each other, and they thought it was a rock. And one of the relatives came over and, and asked what they were doing, and said, I just threw in this weird rock. And the person on a weird rock and took a closer look and it was not a rock. It was it a grenade? Uh bigger. <laughs> mortar shell. Yeah, I think it was a mortar shell. Very badly rusted, but it was still active. <laughs> uh yeah, the so, a lot of stuff uh, was fired off in here, so yeah, makes sense that there'd be a lot left. But where the hell yeah, do we access this freaking shop? And for people wondering, they took the, uh, the un yeah. uncle or granduncle, I think, who took the shell away from the kids and had it uh, the, the, give it to the government to be safely detonated. Since yeah. it was still active. So that's, no one got hurt, right. luckily enough. So it was not a horrible story, just... It's a sort of could gone bad, but did it, luckily enough. Okay, this one... So I okay, do have the question. If you're an 11 year old and you see something that looks like a missile or rocket or like something, and you, how do you heck think it's a rock? Even though I, I saw a picture where it was horribly rusted, but it still looked like a damn rocket. Uh, let's see, which of these parts do we need? Uh, let's step out of this again. But rather annoying that it tells you to go to the tank instead of the, well, the laptop where you actually need to do the thing. Now, how can we laptop. even tell what is missing? Tank wait, wait, status. What laptop? Uh, the, yeah. <laughs> the computer. <laughs> uh, 
hull exterior, total repairs. Okay. Transmission hatch cover, gearbox cover, engine cover, fan cover. Oh, here, this will help. Buy missing parts. Uh, okay. Okay, that, oh, that automatically puts everything in. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. Wait. How much are you getting paid again? Uh, the previous job paid 2,000, and this one will pay oh. 4,000. So we are still in the in the green with this. I thought it was or the same tank. The mm -hmm. No, the term is in the black. Uh, in the black is being in the positive with your finances. In the red is when, yeah, you things are not going as well. Okay. All right. I get it good. For a moment, I thought you were on the same ta tag. You look good. I thought, wait, you only get to pay 2000 What the heck are you doing? But all right, you're just me missing stuff out for picking up my food. Did that get dropped off somewhere or is it automatically in my inventory? Let's see, storage. Unless... It's already here. Oh, thank goodness. And it's already okay. So, switch to assembly Ooh. mode. Okay, then we put that in, okay, and simple enough, like this, exhaust pipe cover, they could have taken, they could have started this off a bit slower with this, but oh well, and we put that on as well. There. Yeah, for some people, uh, people, some people really want to get into the nitty gritty right away. Yeah. Okay. And the engine hatch. And that's that, it seems. Okay. The engine hatch looks like it would be blocked. Yeah, it's supposed to be. It's a hatch to, well, give easier access. <laughs> okay. I mean, like, it's supposed to look at this. If you were to try to open it, the damn turret would be in the way. Okay. Let's see, found it in the tank, already looked at that. Need some help with renovation. Uh, ta -ta -ta. I have a PZK PFV5 yeah, Panther, and Panther Aus A in need of renovation. Can you help? Okay, that's a lot. It needs 59 yeah, pieces to be repaired. Um, okay. I have a available KF, KV1, need some renovation. Uh, to be in perfect condition. Let's actually take a look at this extraction thing, because we haven't gotten a tutorial about that yet. So, start extraction. <clears throat> okay, just repositioning a bit. So, like, are they meaning that, like, that you actually found a tank in the, it was a random tank in the forest. Looks like it. Uh, this is the it's area where the extraction mission gets done. Players tasks... Uh, <clears throat> grammatical errors have been pretty common with this now. Uh, task is to find a tank with tools such as shovel, metal detector, magnetometer, drone, vehicles... Uh, scheme to collect... What? Scheme to complete <laughs> the extraction mission? That's a sentence. Check map, get to the probable tank area, use the metal detector or magnetometer uh, to pinpoint the position of the tank. With, okay, M2 for map points, probably for triangulating uh, the position, and use the shovel to find its position. When tank is found, call for extraction in the tablet. When tank is dunked out, pump out the water mud with the pump, clean the tank with pressure washer, uh, load the tank onto the trailer. Okay. And not that. Uh, okay, I've... And check map, tablet, and selected vehicle. Okay, I I thought we could just pull up the map with M, but no, that puts down those things. Um, where do we even select this? Uh, radio towing service. 
Off-road vehicle allows player to roam around the extraction missions. The vehicle has place for all required tools and extraction mission. Pick up the tools from the trunk to, to approach the vehicle. Okay, but that still doesn't tell me how to open this freaking map now. Um, but it, I'm s uh, let's turn this thing on. Come on. No, there we go. It's a bit slow to start, but it's a starter vehicle. Anyways, I'm presuming on the mini-map that this is where we need to be with this. Or where it should be hidden. And immediately uh, this thing gets stuck. Well, that will explain uh, how you lose a tank. Okay, let's so this. Does, this loose does not look... That, um, what the heck? Metal detector allows to detect any metal object hidden under the ground. When player has the metal detector in hand and the metal object is closed, the metal detector will make a notification sound. The frequency of the sound is higher as the player is closer to the detected metal object. Okay. Um, look at your car. Mm. Yeah, it's a bit uh, passed through. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Let's first just cut straight across this region, see if we get any notifications about where did, you know, about any hits on this thing. I'm going to presume it's not on the road anywhere. Can I speed up? Yes, I can speed up. Okay. It's not in any of that, so let's start going through the rest of this. Like, maybe in Europe, I recognize the birds and the, the style of forest. Kind of curious how big the range of this thing is. Actually, uh, but yeah, 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 most, com big. most tank combat took place in Europe anyway, so I'm not sure if I've ever heard of a tank uh, combat taking place in America. <laughs> Yeah, like testing, sure, but yeah, if the only way I can see them have lost tanks in US soil is due to uh, an accident or something. Like uh, they really did re not realize they just drove into a very deep swamp or something. Yeah. Okay, either the. the oh. Nope. Nope. I do wonder I heard it how. Beat faster. The how the deep can a tank sink into soil? This does not look like a swamp. I heard it beep faster there for a moment. And it's getting... Oh, oh. no. Ghost tanks. But, oh, bloody heck. You saw red light. <laughs> for a moment, oh, wait, wait, this might be true. <laughs> Sorry, what were you to say? It's not Willow Wisps. Uh, not that either. I, I know I heard it beep faster here somewhere. Beep. 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 Okay, I must have completely missed where... What happened? Hmm. Or maybe I was a false positive. But I heard something else and thought it was the metal detector. Okay. Let's at, let's at least keep this area in mind. And let's head closer to the road. Maybe it, yeah, maybe it was run off the road uh, after a, an airstrike and over time sank into the ground through modification and such. Oop. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's the most uh, riveting of uh, gameplay. <laughs> Not so that much. Great. Yeah. Uh. 
Okay, let, let's give this a few more minutes and then we'll just call it because, yeah. Uh, I might try this game on my own, but for streaming, uh, a good no. Yeah, and it, there's, there's probably not much story either. Yeah, if any. <laughs> And yeah, we mostly stream for story, so yeah. But uh, the story that's here is extremely casual. Yeah, that it, as in there is no story. You are, uh, uh, you opened it, uh, you took over a, a tank mechanic business, and that's it. Where the hell is this stupid thing? Uh. I'm guessing it must be near where I put that flag down. Oh. Oh. Got it. Okay, you shovel and... Okay, do we have a shovel? It's... Actually, let's not throw that down. That was a, that was a really precise spot. <laughs> okay. Put this thing There's away. The spot be bigger because it's a, well, you know, a tank. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, really? We have to use a different tablet to get the map here? Okay. This panel allows the player to control the construction mission by switching between ground and tracking our extraction works at the selected map, uh, switching between satellite map and ground penetrating radar scan. Only if we have the magnetometer or drone. Okay. Could have put that in the normal tablet that we get as well. Okay, shovel allows to dig a small hole in terrain to do some extraction missions. It is one of the essential tools required to start an extraction mission. The shovel uh, might be a useful tool to use when, when tour, or when you're not sure if you found a tank. Might be cheaper to dig a hole first before calling in big tools. Okay, now that we have this thing, let's head on back and see if we actually hit the freaking tank or not. Or if we found, yeah, <laughs> an old coin. Not making it much easier to see without even with with the night yeah, time. Um, how deep can we go with this thing? Actually, uh, get out, put down a new one, just so we're double sure where we are, that we don't have to look for it again. And actually, let's just drop this thing here, so we are cl it's close by, and we don't have to walk all the way to the back like we do now. Um, there it is. Okay. Metal detector. Am I actually ding on the wrong, uh, right spot or did I get it wrong? Oh, there it is. Okay. We couldn't see it because, well, <laughs> we moved. <clears throat> we moved. Not that. Uh, return to tablet and call the excavation crew to start uh, the extractor tank. Okay. Now the question is, how did they know there was a tank on that spot? Yeah, maybe they flew a drone over with one of those magnetometers. Okay. Uh, where do we... Let's see. Select this not suitable for extraction process. Area you have selected... What the... Obstacles in the area shovel. Oh, come on. Uh. What? Okay. So let's just pick up our junk, throw it aside, and then call in the freaking stink. Right, come on, get out. Put that away. And. Once we've done with this, we'll call it, because we are at about half an hour with this. Okay. Come on. Dig. 
We don't have satellite radars. Uh, come on. They could have at least told you as well that if you have equipment lying around it, that it'll prevent the excavation. Ugh. Okay, grab you. Now suicide. I'm assuming that the stuff that we uh, bring along gets brought back along, that we don't have to buy new ones. Okay. There's the car. In case I have to walk back again, putting down another marker. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, excavate. There we go. Excavation results when you found something. And okay, we got moved to the roads. And what is up? Oh, that must. Yeah, that's the excavation uh, site. So yeah, we have to clean this thing up and well get all of the mud out of it. But. Yeah, let's not do that and just move on to the next game. We're just going to take a look at it first. Let's see. Uh, commander's hatch. Okay, it looks to be pretty intact, just completely stuck on the ground. <laughs> it looks so small. Okay. Oh, we saw the FPS dip there for a bit. Right, this, this could be nice to just play on my own every now and then, not annoy people <laughs> with it as much. Okay, so let's move on to the second game, which is in a way similar, and in a way the exact opposite of this game. Uh, hide those icons again, and share it to the here so we can see as well. Opposite of... you mean you to destroy tanks? Not Wait, there we go. This is Teardown. This one has been uh, getting quite a bit of attention lately. And yeah, I guess the name kind of says it all. <laughs> we tear down shit. <laughs> okay, part yeah. one. Nope. Frame rate is a bit low, which is probably because of the lighting stuff. So let's. Let's see graphics, render quality high. Da, 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 da. Let now never turn on motion blur and turn off V-Sync. Is that going to help? Not really. That actually lowered it more. Okay, odd. Uh, let's put you to medium. Also doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm. Presuming that the lighting stuff here is messing with it, so what the heck? Scale the resolution by this amount when rendering the game. Text overlays were showing full. Uh, let's just disable all of that. Hmm. Still not le the best, le but still. Le kelle. Le kelle. What? Lockel, teardown services. No, le that's a uh. The letter is uh. Lurkele. Okay. So, yeah, this is either in Germany or Finland or Sweden. Okay, pick up tools. So I, think, I think Turks also use the letter, but I'm sure they used it in the same manner. Fire extinguisher, spray can, and sledgehammer. Place the fuse to turn on the power. It's outside. Or, yeah, that's outside. Wait, is this your home? <laughs> yep, uh, oh, hello. Get out of the way. There we go. <laughs> and yeah, everything in this game is voxel based, so everything can be torn down with the right equipment. There we go. Now, one more look here. Let's just put that to low. Uh, this thing affects the shadows, reflections, denoising. Okay. Oh, so this is at the moment the lowest that the game can go, I think, without going into these, well, the files itself. Um, hmm, still not the best FPS. 
Okay. Alright, go inside to check messages. Oh, there. <laughs> Again, we're working through a computer. Tracy, gas bill. Gas bill just dropped in the floor. Honestly, I'm not sure we can make it through the month. Are you getting any requests? At this point, we're pretty much have to accept anything. Be creative. Hog's mom. Okay, head of sales. Uh, ta -ta. Forwarding old building problem. This just came in. Sounds kind of fishy, but we need the money. You report it. Uh, from Gordon Wu. Old building problem. Good evening, my uh, name is Gordon Wu, general manager at the Evertide Mall. We have a slight problem with an old building that's blocking our plans for a new wing, and I'd need someone to knock it over. I need it gone by tomorrow, and, and I'd even be willing to pay more than the standard rate for some extra discretion, quick execution, and uncomfortable working hours. Now, would you be able to take care of it? Well, we, it's the only mission we have, so we kind of need to. And let's see, Evertide's oh. Mall. In the locale okay. Um Do you recognize this map? Nope. Nor do I. <laughs> so I think this could be a made-up place. Yeah. The Evertides Mall, an upscale shopping center by the waterfront managed by Gordon Wu. Also in the area is Lockel Municipality Folk Museum. And also, you might want to up the sensitivity on your... Uh, your... Uh, what is it called again? Uh, on Discord with uh, the speaking because I see your icon flashing up quite a bit at times. Yeah, I've seen that do sometimes too. But I've also seen it do for your end as well many times. Okay. Uh, because the only reason the we pay attention to it now is that you give me a lizard thing. So it gets a bit more noticeable now, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Our job is to tear this thing down. So let's just work at the walls. The propane tanks explode when thrown. Okay. Uh, there. And then both the start throw and then let go of right. Okay. Oop, I should not hit those. <laughs> Okay, yep, I was wanting to, I was wanting for that to hit the other wall, but I probably should just throw it from here. <laughs> okay, and out. Okay, and then there. And then we just take out for the remains of the wall. And once that is done, the rest should come tumbling down because I don't see any other. It's other supporting structures. Already. Where is this standing is beyond me. Okay, um... Is it seriously yeah. held up by the chimney? Yeah. Okay, that is tanking the... That's tanking the FPS quite a bit. Yeah, even on my end it's getting very choppy. Gotta say, that is a rather... Impressive extinguisher effects, I think. Uh, yeah, can we break this down, or do we need to? Yeah, it's it's being held up by the freaking fireplace. Yeah, yeah um, that that is weird. It oh, should hello. already crumble it down. We've got extra tanks here. Our sledgehammer can't break that thing, but I presume that this can. So, just move around, so we, <laughs> that we hit the right thing. And go. Wait, that didn't do anything? But it did there. something, it, it did damage it a bit. So, see mm -hmm. if you can hammer it now, perhaps. Oh, it's not from the inside of it. Yeah, there, okay, there is a chunk loose. So, yeah, we just need more. And then we're done with it. Actually... This might work as well. Okay. It probably would be in the better option. Alright, just turn the corner and... Okay, for a moment I thought I completely missed it, so let's just back into it. You did drive into it. Oh, and, oh, come on, that, li that little bit is keeping everything up. Yeah, this game needs work. 
Yeah, it's not what? meant to be a complete physics thing. Uh, but that is still ridiculous, you have to admit. Uh, yeah. Okay. And this should bring the whole thing crumbling down. Uh, okay, it came down, but it didn't crumble. <laughs> okay. Uh, what back the heck is it made of? And here we go. Just park it in there. Coming through. Okay. And yeah, our vehicle is also losing bits from just running into this thing. Come on. Are we getting stuck on... Okay, I don't think that lamp was part of the contract. Okay. Uh, come on. Yep. Ow, no. Uh, is this thing going to... Okay, yeah, it is going to autocorrect itself. Okay. Come through. Yep. Or not. Okay, need some speed. And, come on. How did that get hit, then? You scooped. It got scooped. Okay, that's not going to work. So, let's take out the, another light. <laughs> and there we go. Okay. Oh, we've completely flipped this thing over. <laughs> okay. Um... If I start bashing here, then, is it going to be coming down? It's leaning on this here. Okay. Let's keep bashing. And it should be coming down. Still, come on. We need to completely demolish this thing. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Break away the connecting points and yeah, watch it fall apart. Why do you wonder if you're actually breaking someone's home? <laughs> uh, well, seeing as this is called an escape vehicle. Uh, Yeah, okay. the quests were rather, uh, yeah, very fishy. All right, let's see. Oh, hello. Screw you. <laughs> That's something that I think most people would have, have wanted to do to, to their alarm clocks at least once in life. Never me, actually. Most because it wouldn't even buy a new alarm clock. Okay. Investigation. Uh, what a morning. Shouldn't have taken that job. I knew something wasn't right. That building was under cultural heritage protection and the demolition is now part of a criminal investigation. And Miss Turdyman at the police just sent me this photo. Uh, they must have caught you on a traffic uh, camera headed towards the mall. The very last thing we need right now is an investigation. I tried sweet-talking her and she thought she could get the case dropped but asked for a favor in return. I don't know what she wants but just do it. She'll email you directly. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay, Parisi Turdyman, a favor. Just so you know, I don't usually do this, but I'm stuck on a case and I feel like I should try something new. I've been investigating Lawrence Lee Jr. over tax evasion for months now, and, and but he has so many friends in town that I can't get a warrant. How about you use your skills to borrow the computers over at Lee Chemicals so that I can finally access his customer registry and sort this mess out? If you do this for me, I'll make sure your little blunder will be forgiven. Uh, Parisa Turdyman, criminal investigator, locale, uh, police department. Okay. And that, uh, oh, that's quite a ways away. What's this? Oh, that X must be where we are. Operated by the Lee family for three generations, Lawrence Lee Jr. showed a promising start but developed a weakness for fast cash. He is now a well-known name in the criminal underworld. Parisa oh. wants access to Lee's customer registry, pick up three computers at the site for her. Okay. So, yeah, now we've gone from uh, <laughs> destruction of property to destruction of property and theft. Let's see, can we... No, we can't break that, though. A tab for... Okay. 
Um, where are these things? The main off primary targets are the office, the harbor office, and the factory. And yeah, this is already quite a bit bigger than uh, the previous little map, huh? Okay, there, there, and there. Okay. Can just open. No, we can't because it's locked. Though I have not seen a lock that can survive a sledgehammer. So just don't mind me. You take the and entire the computer. Okay. Here as well. Also locked. Nope. Okay. These are too strong for us to break through. So now, there is a window up there. And we can move these barrels. So can we make a stack? Uh, can we yes we can move these. Okay. We just need to get close enough to be able to break it. Okay. Uh, quick save options. Okay, always nice to have. Especially since, from what I know, some of these missions are going to become timed. Okay. Uh, where's this computer? Not there. I don't know of many people who uh, do their business while they do their business. Some do. Some do. Oh, hello, grab valuable. Only, only people with laptop. Or people that are... For some reason, dumb and think it's great to have a TV in the bathroom or a place a console as well. Like, I don't get it. Okay, that's two out of three done. Can we open this thing from the inside? Nope, we cannot, so out the window we go again. Oh, another valuable. Kind of need the cash. Now, there is that last one. Over there in the corner. Okay. Uh, what is all of this stuff? It's a production line, but... Okay. And it... Oh, the ladder has fallen out. Oh, what is this? Oh, just tools. Uh, we can't break this down. Hmm. Kind of a stupid idea to replace the stairs to an office when you kind of need access to that, but we still have... We can still get access through these if I can get on top. Or, uh, or we just do this. We make our own ladder. <laughs> ah, there we go. Yoink. And that's that. I only need to get out now. Yeah, from what, from all that I have seen. You know, in the scene of this game, uh, it starts off easy like that, but it's, of course to ease you in on things, later on it'll get timed. So you need to do a lot of prep work. Of course. <laughs> King. Okay, you've got rank four and hello. Hit and run, uh, no fun for Lee Sun. <laughs> okay, there has been a break in at Lee Chemicals. The perpetrator caused property damage and managed to get away with electronic equipment. Oh. CEO Lawrence Lee says they will upgrade security and should be up and running again soon. Okay, nice that it happened. It reacts to your stuff. Uh... I, I tried to listen to the voice to identify if they spoke English or not. Yeah, I think it was just a bunch of gibberish. Let's see. There's only come 20 angry comments. <laughs> the customer registry indicates that Lee has worked almost exclusively with a single client recently. The client is only ref uh, referred to as BT and no further details, so I really have to bother you with one more favor. Head back to Lee Chemicals and fetch their employee login devices. I should be able to cross-reference their login, uh, their log files with the delivery schedule to figure out where they're moving the product and what BT means. I heard they install a new security system. Be careful. Okay, here we go again. 
Yeah, this is where it will start with the security systems. Anti-theft protection system. Release equi uh, security, okay. We can't break that. But, okay, we can't break brick as well either. So, first of all, we need to find a new way in. Or make a new way in. Uh, let's see, can I topple you over? I might be over plan it, thinking this a bit. If we can build up enough junk on this side, we might be able to just cross over with that. There we go. It's a healing people. Master of making things harder for himself. I uh, wouldn't really call that harder. Now, let's see. Where are these things that we need? There's one there, one there, and one over here. Okay. Now then, uh, we can't break metal, but the other side is open, so someone is getting fired for this. Hmm. Yeah, if, if we start... If we start to stream this, we'll have to... Uh, hold on. We'll have to dig around in the settings a bit. Okay, I'm pretty sure that the moment that we pick this thing up, the alarm is going to get off and we will be on a timer. So we'll need to make a route that allows us to run past each of those and back to the car in enough time. So let's see, one there, one there, and one there. We can use that to cross, those to cross from there to there, if we can blow a hole in the wall. And then we just need to break the fence and get out. So, there we go. That's the last step done. All right, here are these other ones. A bit surprised that those cables aren't going to breaking. Then we can open this. This isn't where we need to go, but this is where those uh, where the pipes connect. Okay, let's see. Can't break through that. At least not yet. Okay. Uh, oh, hello. Knock, knock. Or, or not. Okay, still a hole. <laughs> not as big a hole as I thought it'd make, but still. <laughs> Alright. Here is one device, and there is a bunch of propane tanks for us to break through the walls. So, let's see. We could go over this. Get rid of all of that. And back in here. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, we could start with this one, jump out the window onto the pipe. Eh, oh, onto the pipes. Uh, follow those this way uh, to here. Okay, we'll need to break through there then. I, I didn't need to do that at all. <laughs> tisk, okay. tisk, tisk. What are we to do with you? Okay, so we need to break open this wall with the tank. Grab that. Tank! Yeah, propane tank. Oh, okay. That, okay, that makes more sense. And we can I was thinking, wait, where did he hit a key a tank? <laughs> well, we started with tanks earlier, but <laughs> the same type. Okay. So we just need to go grab some... And it's uh, still explosives. swinging? Yep. <laughs> All right. 
let's see, we have four of these. We need to make two holes at the moment, uh, probably a third as well. Careful with about dropping it. Okay. What did I just tell you? <laughs> you said it as we were falling, <laughs> so. I said it right before you fell. Okay. I don't need that, I need this. Come on, let it go. Uh, uh, Hilliard! <laughs> oh, for goodness, you were holding it and not the other thing. Yeah. Okay. I see some boxes over there that could probably be used to stock up towards something. Alright. Oh dear. What? Uh, what the? Okay. What? That, did that just blow up because it hit the freaking bears? All right. Uh, hmm. Um, I thought I feel like this is probably not a good game to stream, considering how much you can mess up for yourself accidentally. Yeah, the most of the videos I've seen on this game have been cut to, yeah. <laughs> Mostly stick to uh, things going boom and such. Let's see. Hmm. Are there any other propane tanks, or will we have to uh, restart? Hmm. Uh, wait, I'm uh, pretty sure there were at least four, but not two. Yeah, there's still two more, but it's, uh, I mean, somewhere else perhaps, because I think we are going to need at least three. To get uh, through everything. Okay, this time let's hold it up a bit more so it doesn't get <laughs> no booped by the stairs and detonate. Yeah, seriously, why did it explode from just touching wood? <laughs> Is that metal's uh, ultimate weakness or something? The snoot? Uh, wrong place, I think. Where is it? Yeah, this is the place. Or is it? Okay, this is where one of them is. Uh, let's gently put you down. Now, let's see. We need to get onto this pipe. Still need to... Actually, we might not need to blow a hole in there. But we do need to blow a hole in that corner there. So, fly. Okay, bit of a small hole. Yeah, that could have been better. It also could have been better if I had not fallen through. Wait, did you do that earlier? Something here. Yeah, this is a different place. This is where we broke in bef er, before. Okay, you see model then. Yeah, th this is the exact same location, so it's the, of course it's the exact same model. Uh, there is the same house! Yeah. Then what you say it wasn't? But I didn't say that. <laughs> okay. We go from here, jump here. Can we make that jump? We cannot, okay? Hmm. Or can you? Yes. There we go. Um. Wait. I thought you were to use the, uh, the thing to get up on the pipe, not bring down out the house. Uh, actually, I can use these crates here, probably. That's... Um... Wait, you... For a moment, I thought you and me had the same brain uh, saying at the moment, but apparently not. For... I was just to suggest use the box and the truck to get up. Okay, that thing really comes apart quite easily, it seems. Um, hmm. The box is rather fragile as well. Okay, can we... Can we not phase into a box? 
Okay. Uh, if we can get this one... Really? <laughs> what? Uh, everything in here seems to be made out of paper mache or something. Uh, oh, come on. Even the box broke from that. Okay. Take this and put that down there. We should be able to... Yep. Okay. And then through here, we can jump on this. And then we just need to break through this wall here. Or is there a window? Yes, there is a window. All right. Then we Watch are ready behold, to give our Watch and behold, there's an open door below. Yeah, we need, to, we need to be pretty fast with this. So, yeah, we're, all, oh, we're already almost out of time again. So, yeah, let's just do this and move on to the next. Because from what I've seen, this game can take quite a bit of trial and error. Okay, three, two, what, uh, what? Oh, quick, oh, quick save, yeah. Good thing that game brings that up. Okay, grab that, we have 60 seconds to grab our stuff and get out. Oh, come on. Okay, that's at least a delay, but not a full stop. Grab that. Get that. Okay, we've got we've got this. Grab that. Let's go. Uh, yeah, this one is open. And here's the opening we made first. And away we go. And yeah, of course, if this timer hits zero, we uh, game over. All right. Oh, it shows where you were walking even. Oh, I missed that. Sorry. Uh, amateur reached a new rank and tool has been delivered. Which is a blowtorch. Okay. Uh -oh. So now we should be able to break metal. No. Wait, what? Wait. Metal burning? Okay. You sure there's a blowtorch? Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. I don't burn this computer. <laughs> okay, tool. Sledgehammer. Uh, can be upgraded. For okay, making markings in your environment. That's also nice. Bas uh, basically giving you chalk and such. Uh, not many games actually do that anymore. Blowtorch. No upgrades available. Blow. Yeah, f fire extinguisher. No available. Blowtorch can be upgraded to have more fuel. Okay. Um. But let's save that. For now, let's check this again, and then we'll yeah, call it. Let's see. Need coffee. They turned off the gas. I can't even make a proper coffee anywhere. We really need to bring in more clients. I'll reach out to Gordon and see if he has something else. I haven't heard back from the police. That thing sorted. Oh, Gordon Wu. Marina, too small. Thanks for helping out with that building. The police were snooping around a little, but it seems to have cooled off now, and we can start and finally start construction. Actually, I have another job for you. See, I bought this yacht recently, but it's too large for the marina, and the board says there's no space for a new dock. Could you use your demolition skills and, again, and remove one of the timeshare cabins? If the original documentation also disappeared, then ta-da, like it was never there. Yeah, we're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place with this, huh? Yeah, I'm starting to feel like this is not a game for stream for. I think I'll just be damn frustrated with the, these people. Yeah, maybe. And word for you. Against, again, oh, wait, are those, are those paintings that we stole? I don't think so. And yeah, reporting on our burglary again. But yeah, this game is running at quite a. I'll play this myself. Maybe we can do it uh, every now and then on Saturdays. But we already have quite a bit running on Saturdays. Or ready for Saturdays. So, yep. yeah. That's a, a maybe on for the weekends. So, let's move on to another game where we uh, get in trouble with the law. Oh there we go. And hide the desktop items again. Hmm. Uh, why is that back up? Okay, remove that. Share to the here. Also, I've heard that lowering the frame rate 
on Discord streams helps with the pixelation. So yeah, I've and lowered that. I've, if needed, I'll lower it again. Okay. And yeah, it was pixelated a bit earlier on some uh, moments, but... Nah, that, that's just how Teardown looks. Yeah, I see no pixelation here as well. A bit, little bit, but weak pixelation. It's not too terrible. I can still see what's going on. And uh, it's stabilized. And we're going to be testing in... I think it's something else doing the thing with the mic. For... I occasionally drum my uh, knees and start to see if it reacts, and it doesn't react to it. Okay, it only reacts when I drum to... very loud. Oh, sorry. Welcome to Thief, also known as Thief 4. Uh, this game, as you can see, uh, I've already played it for quite a bit of time on, um, well, very high difficulty. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Uh, a lot of people say that this game uh, is bad, but personally, I still like it. Uh, a, lot of, yeah, a lot of people were, uh, let's just say, uh, disappointed in that this was a quote-unquote reboot, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll just leave that uh, to when we eventually stream this, because I am planning on streaming this game and probably Thief 3 as well. Now though, uh, yeah, we can overwrite that one. Yeah, we have... Yeah. <laughs> Let's just go with the master difficulty. Opponents are deadly and civilian kills or knockouts are not tolerated. Uh, resources and upgrades are more expensive. The focus meter depletes at a much faster rate. Um, actually, maybe f the, the focus thing is something that I'd like, uh, reasonably. But it, because it does drain so much, it doesn't get as much use. So let's, for when we stream at least, go with the thief difficulty. So we can use it a bunch more. Yeah, so we're all doing for the story, not the challenge. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Starting the timer. So, Chalice, Chalice is good in right moderation. <clears throat> if it doesn't become frustrating. There's one thing this city's taught me. You can put a price on anything. Secrets, reputations, a life. And trust? If you have to ask, you can't afford it. But then I suppose none of that matters when you're me. After all, when did I ever pay for anything? <clears throat> Prologue to drop. Yeah, we play as, well, easy guess, a thief. Too much light. Okay, and uh, yeah, we... Cozy in here. Let's take that. And basically grab anything that sparkles. <laughs> and let's get that. A pocket watch for 20 gold. And what is that? A knife? Uh, let's keep that away because if this guy does wake up, which is probably unlikely, uh, he probably he'd want to use that on us. He got plenty of them from what I saw. He should, he should not be sleeping with knives in bed like that. Pocket portraits. Let's open this up. A flask. And some scissors. Now, anything left here? Oh. <clears throat> Perfume bottle. Yes, got that right. Okay, anything down here? Nope. Yep, thank you. And yeah, still have this one here as well. Can we open that? Apparently not, so that must mean that it's automatically empty. Take that as well. And is there nothing else now? Yep, <laughs> block this guy clean of anything of much value. So let's just be a kind guest and take our leave. Okay, open up. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, this is one thing that I believe people did find annoying, that these little quick-time events to open stuff up, and yeah, 
we'd have, as you see, it's shot right behind us, so we have to do that quite a bit. And that I, I will admit that is brought annoying. Hello. So the movements near birds will disturb them, alerting anyone nearby. So instead, let's crouch down and uh, not disturb whatever crazy bird lady Someone's might be a bird around. Lover. That painting's more my taste. I should take a closer look. Uh, one little thing. Uh, da, 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 display. Where is... It? Uh, of course, it's not there. Where the... Audio... Uh, subtitles. That turned out on. Just for the ease of things. Let's see. Use the mouse or moving keys to feel for hidden switches behind frames. Okay, nothing here. Ah, there it is. Okay. And yeah, of course, if you're a thief, you're also going to have to pick locks. Okay. And come on, feel around a bit. There. Okay, easy as that. Or at least for now. Of course, it's going to be a lot harder later on. So give me that. And that's actually the brooch. Or what? Uh, what the? Yeah. On the painting, the same one. Uh, well, they do call the rooftops the thieves' highway. I just hope that's not who I think it is. Who? Okay, rope arrows. These are these are quite a staple of this game or of this series. Oh god, it's a bit of pixel that I got. Ah, uh, there you go. Stabilized. It's still getting pixelated occasionally, but he quickly stabilizes itself. Okay. And oh yeah, rope not arrows. Not uh, this time. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Yeah, rope arrows are nice because you can put down your own uh, climbing points. Of course it is. Care to make a little more noise next time? How else would you know it was me? Basso did tell you we were working together on this, right? Well, I showed up, so what do you think? <laughs> I think you haven't changed a bit. Come on, it'll be just like old times. Okay, shift to run, and space, of course, is jump. Okay, one thing that I do like about this game is that it runs quite smoothly. with the sudden color shift. <laughs> Glad you could make it. Did you pick that route because it was fast or because he thought it'd be fun? Can it be both? Come on, let's get Basso his commission. <laughs> let's see, the light gem. Displayed in the lower left corner of the screen indicates whether or not you are hidden in shadows and dark areas. When the light gem is black, you are less likely to be spotted. Yeah. I believe Thief was the original game to start Are with you light sense. Are yeah. those shadows, Lady Lamplight? I was just scouting ahead. I know you always like to go first. Okay. Peek around corners like this. Even lean a bit more extra. <laughs> Not that it's really needed. Uh, okay. Just back away to let go. Yeah. The fun thing about Thief was originally it was supposed to be a. Uh, a shooter game you like Doom and such. One of these. See you on the other side. Looks like what? I won't be going that way. Let's finish unloading before summer's day is over. Why not drink to a job well done first? We, we can't just leave the cart out here. It's festival time. Your average thief will be under a table in an alehouse. And the watch will be liquored up too. I'm not haggling fines with a drunk guard again. Okay. Hello there. Someone dropped this. Uh, let's be a good Samaritan and, well, keep it ourselves. <laughs> All right. Let's get up here because we do not want to be at the uh, at, <clears throat> on the ground floor because that's where we are e most easily spotted. Garrett, come on. There you are, Aaron. Jealous of the claw? I made it myself. I'm sure the watch will be very impressed. They'll certainly hear us coming. 
They'll have to catch me first. Just be aware of your surroundings. It's not about taking in the sights, Garrett. It's about taking in the loot. Um, yeah, it's a lot easier to take the loot when you are... <laughs> Come on, jump down. Yeah, Garrett, stop posing like Batman and move on. There we go. You do still steal, right? I've been stealing since before you could crawl. <sighs> There's the Garrett I know. How about a friendly wager? Let's see who can take in the most. Okay, uh, we can't follow her that way because we don't have that claw thing that she has. Uh, let's see, hard to break with the blackjack. Okay, thank you. Anything else worth nabbing around here? Okay. Okay, there's a guard around. Look what I found. Oh, you and me out on the town? Why did we stop doing this again? Do you really need to ask? Yeah, go. Garrett doesn't really like her too much. Okay. Warrior's apartment. Okay. Nothing in there. Let's take their scissors. But let's not start running with them. Uh. <laughs> uh, it's the simple ones that get you most. <laughs> Bracelets. And an I used to keep a low profile on places where I'm not welcome. There's a lot of those places. Okay, there, and we go. I, I just need to move the mouse around in a circle to get a feel for those. Okay. Another purse. And let's see, nothing there. Yeah. Part of why I like this game might be because I just like being a sne <laughs> sneaky little fuck. <laughs> Well, that's an ex that was an expensive telescope. Then again, the lenses in those were pretty hard to make back in the day. I think nowadays as well. Okay. And what have we here? Oh, nice, a ring. Thank you. A cheap ring, but still a ring. And let's not touch that. Nothing else here? Okay. Then we can move on. The ale has to go somewhere, dear. I'm just the middleman. Besides, you're the only one watching. Every day I'm reminded what a catch you were. <laughs> Come on, let's go try those gavel wings. Gavel wings? The heck are gavel wings? Wash your hands first. Okay. Yeah, when we stream this, I might look if there's some way to just break these little uh, cut uh, QTEs for the windows. Let's see. There's probably a mod for that. And, oh, hello. Aaron, have you been through here before? It's kind of cheating if you're going out through the same places that I'm going through. Or, uh, hmm. well, technically, we've been going through her route. Let's see, that's locked. Or blocked better. <laughs> so how much did you steal? <laughs> it's not how much you steal. It's what you steal. And how you steal it. <sighs> Looks like this primal stone thing that Basso wants is in the ceremony room at Northcrest Manor. It's the Baron's mansion. Won't be easy. Worried? Yes, and so should you. We'll be fine. I'll pick up your slack. <sighs> this job's getting more complicated by the second. Yeah, starting off with a baron's place. Uh, <laughs> what could go wrong, huh? It is kind of a almost a cliche but yeah that's a lot of guards they're definitely not here for the summer festival dance 
A lot of guards means a lot of steel. Thieves and swords do not get on well. I've never had a problem with swords. But then again, I'm not just a thief. You'd think someone would be watching the front gate. We can't let the Baron's guests see this thing giving out. And we can't frigging see without it. Ah, they go off and on all the time. So you can't fix it? Do I look like an engineer to you? None of the staff can keep up with all his lordship's experiments. Not going to be much of a brighter future if the lights don't work. <laughs> yeah, the world of thief is a bit of a mishmash with things. So let's see. In the direction to swoop. You swoop to quickly move from shadow to shadow. Yep, just a little dash. Because a lot of this stuff in a lot of the stuff in the thief world is medieval, but yet there is also electricity and such. Basically, they are medieval ages, but they were able to invent electricity a bit earlier. Yeah. Alright? I yeah. kinda like that. It's a bit uh, unique here, aesthetic. Huh? Hmm. Help the new boy, will you? He's been trying to light a fire basket for ten minutes. What am I, his father? Go on, before he sets fire to himself. Aaron? See, some surfaces such as water make mo mo movement easier to detect. Press control to move very slowly and reduce the sound you're making. Yeah, we wouldn't want uh, the splashing to be heard, especially with the guard right there. Yeah, there's something shining in the, in the water behind you. Oh, some coins. There. Okay. They are just coins, but any gold is gold. Wink. He's got gold fever. Yeah, like I said, a good chance is that I just like being a sneaky bastard. And that's why I like this game. Next, some water you, you are not good. You like being sneaky, but we see him again and again in many places you're not good at it. Well, good, not good at it when I have to sort of rush it a bit. And yeah, that's what water arrows are for. Okay. Now the same way across, very carefully, because, yeah, if these guys see us, uh, we are dead. Uh, one of the reasons that I can uh, rush ahead with uh, Dishonored a bit is that if you are caught, you can still fight off your enemies. Uh, in the Thief games, if you're caught, you're as good as dead. I should know better. My family used to be charcoal burners. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's work you don't see much since the factories came. Okay, she got lucky that he turned this way, and he huh? should probably oh, see us on. since we're what? right yeah, at the need to border. Take him down quickly, quietly, and alive. Okay. That is basically the only way that we can take out guards here. Okay. Come along now. You took quite a bit to react to seeing your colleague knocked out like that. What the hell just happened? Why'd you kill this guard? He was barely older than you. He was a guard, Garrett. Wrong place, wrong time. You haven't changed, have you? What's that supposed to mean? It means I don't kill without thought or good reason, and I don't get paid for it. So basically, it's okay when you do it, but not me. I see. I get it. But you know yeah. that guard? He's not going to wake up later and follow our trail to cause trouble. When any guards wake up, I'm usually long gone. Yeah, that is why he doesn't like Aaron. A bit too aggressive and reckless. And yep. rush. If you're so eager to time? leave, maybe I should go first. Okay, these first locks are still easy, of course. You're holding me back. I'm lying on that claw is holding me back. Uh. Okay, yeah, we can grab some of these stuff. Okay, he is watching this way. So, yeah, you go look there. Huh? Did I just hear something? Yeah, 
and also shows a bit how the detection system goes. You'd better right. stay hidden if you're messing with me. I was going to stay hidden no matter what. Uh, he is not looking this way. Well, not every sound. We need to go there. Okay, he's turned around, so we can move on. Yeah, the best way to try and go is to not, yeah, well, <laughs> to avoid the guards as much as, po as, much as possible. Ah, oh, ring the frigging bell. If you keep pacing up and down, you'll wear through those new boots. My girl, sir. She's presenting me to her father. He doesn't know I joined the watch. And? City watch means honor and respect. The thing is, sir, he believes that ratsack rumor about us being on the take. Oh, does he? Then you pull his frigging nose out of his arse. Right? <sighs> Sir. I don't think threatening someone will make them believe less that you are <laughs> taking bribes. Let's see, we could go that way, but there is some shiny stuff there. And, yeah, it looks like he is on a set pa pattern and he's just... <laughs> He's just fine leaving an imprint where he stands. So let's just wait for him to, turn, uh, to move back that way again. Then we'll go grab the loot. But he's watching the loot, the other guy. No, he's watching in its general direction, but it's at a, about a 45 degree angle, so it should be in his peripheral vision only. Okay, enough for us to be able to grab it. What was that? Oh. Okay, because I got spotted there. On the way, probably should have take, <laughs> taken a better way down. Okay. Okay, you mean like that? That's why you do get spotted, for you... Yeah, it is a game over. Yeah, at, at the moment it's because, yeah, the det detection is a game over. Actually, I can probably knock him out while he's there. And, yeah, just remove one uh, vector from this uh, little approach. Even though I could just move over. Actually, let's just do that. We are mostly doing this to show off stuff. There's no need to go being a freaking uh, magpie now. But yeah, any gold is of course useful for buying upgrades and such. And hello again, Aaron. Kill faster and make mistakes faster. I get it. You're not in control. That's why I'm better. <sighs> Deal with it. Let's just get the job done. What's not being with in her? control. Yeah, she she has a a backstory. Also, let's just take that out of the equation. I think we'll do it without this. He's, of course, not going to like that. And hello. Not creepy at all. I'm guessing that's what we're after. The primal stone. Robes. Robes are always a bad sign. Brothers Cornelius, Aldous, present the keys. This burn Northcrest. Brothers of the Awakened, we are gathered here to usher this city into a new age. One of progress and industrial enlightenment. Let us begin the channeling of the primal. Samla and Strakakan. Come on, let's go down there. This will be fun. No, we're done here. Job's over. What? Are you joking? Something's not right. It's too dangerous. And you're not ready yet. You know, I'm not a kid anymore. I can do this. I'm going down there with or without you. Not without this, you're not. Not 
the time for a fight. Definitely not the time. Don't move. They're now even more trouble. Come on, Aaron, just leave the stupid thing behind. That is one way to get an anchor. <laughs> and knockout. <laughs> yeah, electricity and also uh, quite a bit of magic floating around as well still. <laughs> oh, bloody heck. It, it, yeah, I can see if thing. But didn't you compare this to... Uh... Is this honored? In a bit. Hey! Looks like he's waking up! Come on! Stop slacking! We gotta get him in the city before they call the lockdown! Pace yourself, boy! We just need to get him to the clock tower, safe and sound, and then we'll be rosy! Where's this car going? Baker's in Stone Lake is... Ah! Was I talking to you? Yeah, a break in Good at movie. the uh, Baron's Both is going to cause a bit of issues. And yeah, it seems that the subtitles are rather off here. The voices! Stop the nightmare! <laughs> Gloom's getting worse. Everywhere except Oldale. Someone should do something. Nobody gives a shit about us, boy. You'll learn that soon enough. Yeah, there's even parts missing. Yeah, we're taking we're turning the subtitles off. You want to see more of these bloody pipes everywhere? You are the boss! That's enough! Do you? That's not food for our bellies! That's not medicine for the sick! You! Don't think you're safe because you've got a job shoveling shit for the rich. The Baron has a noose for every one of us. But change is coming. Orion is going to bring change. The Baron will burn. <sighs> see? See? They're scared of the truth. Keep your head down. Do that. Who are you speaking with? Yep. <laughs> That's certainly a way to get the attraction. The attention, but... Ow. Yeah, the city's going to hell already. the other guy that was yeah pulling us along okay. uh, yeah let's turn those subtitles off because they are way off that that is a quite a big thing <laughs> especially in a rather triple uh, a is title yeah. yeah this this game is flawed to say the certain well, I feel like they should have fixed this by now Okay, we also have these little hidey holes, though we don't have any use for them at the moment. 
And yeah, we have the option to just sneak out and we can also just barge out in case we're about to be found. Okay. There we go. With the claw we can use we can reach these higher areas now. And what's this here? Okay. A, bag, a little bag of food for our med kits and such. <sighs> and that is where we're headed. Over to here. Oh, even more shinies. Uh, and also, no, so look that they're still using crossbow, dude. Again, just because you invent electricity doesn't mean you invented gunpowder. Yeah. Okay, the Baron got out alive then, I'm guessing. I, I, I know the general gist of the story still, but uh, the details are, of course, uh, foggy. And, of course, I'll, I'll try to avoid sp speaking spoilers while I've been playing this. I was just to guess you were to say <laughs> foggy for some reason. I think it's not to learn your speech pattern. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello there. Steps. Bye bye. Stop there. Now it's my turn. Uh, no, it's not because you can't reach me, dumbass. You can still chuck stones at me, but ow. <laughs> Sticks and stones and all that aren't going to get me killed. fairly quiet when used the right way. Aaron made this thing sound noisier than it is. Okay, another lock. There. 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 Okay. Let's. Where are we on time? I had a. Few. Okay, we're <laughs> literally 30 seconds left. Okay. So let's just slip through here and then we'll probably call it. <sighs> of course. Yeah. If there is a mod or something to move, to force out those uh, thing, those QTEs, I'll install it. What are you looking at? Price on that jeweled mask. Be enough to feed a hundred squawking mouths for a year. Don't you go catching the conscience. I can cut through the jewels to get around these gates. Besides yeah, the entire city is going into lockdown. Uh, yeah, for now. Yeah, this one is definitely on the list. Uh, not sure how many more, you know, how many others of the Thief series I'd... Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I'd uh, add in at least Deadly Shadows. I know and like that one. Uh, the other ones might be a bit old to really go through because... Uh, yeah, things were definitely different in those and would take a very long time to get through, probably. Deadly Shadows, of course, will take some time as well, but not as long. Okay. So, for now, let's move on to our last game for today. <clears throat> All right, okay. let's see what it is. Gox taking a moment to start up. Just hide you away. And there it comes. Okay. Share to do here. Thank you. And this is the police too. So yeah, we've gone from uh, <laughs> breaking stuff down to breaking and entering to, well, thief <laughs> burglary. And now we're uh, we're on the other side of it. <laughs> uh, I know... Dear. I know little about this game. Heck, is that a hung-up bear? Let's see. Necktie headquarters. At approximately 1 in the morning, uh, the Sharpwood Police Department received an anonymous call. The source said he knew where we could find the headquarters of the Neckties, a gang of drug traffickers that recently arrived in the town. Anonymous information is rarely reliable, but for Sheriff Wells, shutting down the neckties was the department's primary goal. So he immediately went to the address indicated, along with two other officers for backup. Okay, turn-based. So, sort of like XCOM. Let's see, a policeman usually performs two actions per turn, moving a short distance is one action. And, we're, are we dealing with the Canadian police? Looks like it's a snow, pines, uh, the hat. That or North American 
uh, northern part of the uh, USA perhaps. For some police do have the bigger hats. Though I forgot the, which uh, ones that does it. I think the mount... Uh, no, the Mounties aren't uh, the entirety of the Canadian police. Uh, yeah, they have red typically uniforms. Have red. And they but those are more the Mounted kind of police, I think. Yeah. I would say Texas Rangers, but I don't think there is snow much in Texas. Okay, more difficult to hit a person behind full cover and someone behind partial cover. We have okay. Suspects turn. Yeah, this is, this is XCOM with the police, it seems. Well, it does make How sense, uh, considering the tactics uh, used by police and such. Okay. If the enemy spots you, he'll raise the alarm during his turn. If the alarm is raised, cops are visible even when the, if they're behind cover. But cover still makes you a harder target to hit. Okay. Um, Set an ambush. Um, I see he's still burned someone by, at the stake. Uh, you mean this cross there? No, no. Looking further away. Uh, where am I pointing? Uh, for, uh, west of the map, almost at the corner of the screen. Ah, there, yeah, I see. Okay. You're, yeah, definitely deal with these jackasses. Uh, does, he a, does he have a body bag by the shed? Yeah. Whack the uh, criminal with a baton to the head, or he'll raise the alarm and compromise the whole operation. Stunned and wounded criminals don't resist arrest. Okay. Briefly stuns, guaranteed hits. Does not leave marks on the body. Okay. Then with what? this one, we step up closer and arrest. Let's see here. Arrested criminals remain on the ground and cannot raise the alarm. Okay. Approach from the other side. It said something perhaps someone is on the other side of the van or something. Okay. This can easily go... What the... Is that... Is that just a bear they've hung up from a noose or something? Okay. Another lookout has disappeared from the policeman's view. It's most likely behind the logs. I'm gonna need a better look at that thing. But it looked like almost a boar. Should be the taste. Cops can carry a uh, can, can carry other. Oh, I forgot to set the timer. More uh, other the non lethal bags. gear aside from the batons. A taser effectively stuns at a distance, but each shot requires a cartridge. Uh, they tied someone to the wall in the snow over there at the bigger house. Yeah. The taser is effective at medium range and stuns the offender for several turns, may cause pain and shock. They even tied them to the logs, I noticed now, the log you're using as a cover? Yeah. Uh, what kind of gang is this? Uh, a drug dealing gang, so you can guess from there what kind they are. The problem is, I also worried if they are a cult or they eat them as well. Yeah, br the brutality is the point for intimidation. Let's see, a stunned criminal will be out of it for several turns, so you'll have time to reach the criminal and arrest him. But if the suspect comes to his senses, he'll immediately raise the alarm. So yeah, let's get up to this guy. Let's see, enemies can uh, not only see you, but also hear you. If an offender sees you from afar or hears a suspicious noise, he's sure to leave his post and check the area. Uh, okay, yeah, that's a bear. And yeah, they, I think they literally bleed out, so it can be easier to cook. Could be. I'm, I'm guessing this guy must have heard the taser going off or something, by, which is why he's uh, outlined in yellow like that. So it is, that just means that we have to get up to him. Let's see. Another way to take down a criminal is to use a pepper spray. Uh, equipment like stun grenades, taser, cartridges, shockers, and pepper spray disappear after use. Well, it reminds me, uh, apparently there's a new pepper spray come out, or not already come out, that when you spray paint it, uh, sprays on with it, if it may be covered in blue uh, luminescent light, so yeah, if you get sprayed, police gonna find you easily. Yeah, so basically like those ink bombs they put uh, on cash in uh, the banks and such. 
Yep. Except on a maze can. Let's see here. Back lovely stuns the criminal, highly reliable. If the spray gets into eyes, do not attempt to rinse with water. Because that will only make it worse. Water. Oh. So make this guy pretty salty with pepper. Okay, that makes sense why e pepper spray is a thing. Yeah, it's meant. You do not want to have that used on you. Yeah, okay. no, no, one's, no one understand more why the, even the maze paint glows, glows in the dark and all. It says if you, you can't wash it off. It, like if you try to wash it off, it just makes it worse. And there probably is so, a way to wash it off, but at least not with water. Maybe with something else in it as well. Yeah. It's effective stuff anyways, and it's a good reason to it why in most places uh, it's rather illegal for civilians to have. Uh, not, maybe yeah, not most, it still has a self-defense thing, but... Hmm. True. Hmm. Okay, let's see. You can look into the room through the window or take a position next to the open door. Don't blunder into the house blindly. Yeah, that's a good way to get yourself killed. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon? Let's put the cuffs in this him. jackass. That will also help him <laughs> from stop, yeah, prevent him from rubbing his eyes, because that is also, of course, going to make it worse. Okay, that's all of the suspects dealt with. And why the hell is there blood on the blood on the stump? And yeah, they, we are dealing with a very brutal gang here. If you still yeah. haven't raised the alarm, then the enemy won't see you through the window. But it, I think they burn the bodies to get rid of evidence or something. The, Could be, yeah. They are doing a quite a poor job at it. Yeah, it seems they've been chopping heads as well here. Okay. Well, I really hope they are not cannibalistic as well. For they'd be concerned if I think they'd kill the bear and deer as a way to get some food in the forest. Yeah, and there's, there's also and yeah, there's another body up on the van here. Come the hell on. Yeah, okay. I get the intimidation idea, but this is almost to the point that many of this is a bit of uh, overkill. Yeah, and more of an issue in itself. Let's see. Only a policeman with the appropriate perk can pick locks or break down doors. Noise from a broken window or door will attract the enemy's attention. So yeah, we're going to get into a gunfight here. Yep. Active perks. Battering ram. Loudly breaks down a door or window. Knock knock. Firearms can kill or disarm a suspect and inflict serious wound. The wounded person will die in a few moves unless he is evacuated. Gunshots immediately raise the alarm. So think twice before opening fire. And I'm guessing the bar shows the likeliness of being yeah, of hitting. Okay. Don't forget to aim before you trink, yeah, pull the trigger. Some parts of the body are harder to hit than others. Oh, hello. Okay, hand. The criminal won't be able to shoot, but he cer will certainly try to escape. It seems we can only aim for the hand. It has a reasonable chance to hit. Roger. Drop it, or you get dropped. Okay. Come on, now he gets pixelated again. Jimmy the window? Okay. Perks. Burglar. A placement suddenly opens a closed door or window. We could have... We could have done that instead of shooting that guy in the back. Okay, I get the feeling this is going to go wrong. Okay, we can use this to break open the window as well. Prepare to breach the door. This door won't save him. Yeah, I very much doubt that that's the only guy left in here. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah I'm pretty sure once we kick this down, we are going to get mowed down. Or not? No. There we go. Yeah, just how horrible did that go? Okay, November 21st. 
but today I wasn't so lucky. I mean, it wasn't just a regular funeral, was it? Oh, Sharpwood showed up. Can you imagine? I had a teacher, Mrs. Dawson. I haven't seen her since the third grade. Figured she'd moved or died. I, I mean, it's not easy to lose track of someone in this town, right? And today, I'm looking at her in the crowd, all alive and healthy. Imagine, right? And the crowd was huge. It wasn't even a crowd, more like a whole river of people. I mean, you look at all of them, and you can't even see the end. All the roads were blocked. Just thinking. <laughs> It's weird, there's this dead guy who's making it so an alive guy can't get his groceries on time, right? <laughs> I mean, I just wanted to say, I, uh... uh that I really to respect shut up. Sheriff Wells. He died a hero, right? Ask anyone. Everybody says he's a hero. But I'm just saying, I got a job to do. I don't want to lose it. Nobody wants to lose a job because it's not easy to find a new job in Sharpwood, right? So, uh... <clears throat> the money's right there in front of your nose. Don't bother with the change. Mr. Nash, I... Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to say that you, you don't need to call Mr. Summers. I mean, he'll be yelling at me either way. I deserve it, right? <laughs> I'm just, uh, mm. Oh, by the way, those, uh, cigars you asked about? Mm, uh, S Caesars, right? Mr. Summer said we normally don't have them in stock, but we can order them. Maybe it'll take a couple of weeks or so, but what's a couple of weeks when it's a quality product, right? I remember one day I was looking- Forget it. I don't know how long I'll be staying. Oh, I, uh... I hope. I, I mean, I hope that you won't be leaving too soon. You're like our best customer. Oh, or at least one of our best customers, am I right? I know there's a lot of stuff going on. Lots of folks are leaving. Even pale Charlie left, and he's even older than you. I, he's 90 or something. Maybe even 100. I, I, I mean, I, I'm sure you'll find yourself a decent job, right? <laughs> I'm... I mean, have a good, good day, Mr. Nash. I like this art style. So do I. Do I, that guy gave me almost anxiety or something. Yeah. Hello? Hey, Lily. So we're getting rid of this thing tomorrow? Uh, what? We do what? That drawing thing in the hall. We're taking it down tomorrow? I already called Uncle Dimitri. He'll cart it off for us. Hey, might even get a couple of bucks Whoa, for it. Whoa, first, it's not a drawing. It's a tapestry, okay? A beautiful work of art. You didn't notice, did you? Second, it's hanging there for a reason. And third, and most important, we're... Oh, you mean that drawing in the hall. Great. I'll get a hanger tomorrow so we can put the TV up there. Come or maybe on. a VCR, too. Well, what do you think? Jesse, we are not taking down the tapestry. TV? That's not a bad idea. Sure, but I was thinking, well, you know, I thought we could put a snack machine here. Come on. You know, I'm tired of having to drive 20 minutes over to Bad Ears gas station for smoked cheese in the middle of work. <laughs> like, I've got nothing better to do, right? As if I, uh... <laughs> you see how much space that giant thing takes up? We can put a TV up, an arcade game, probably even a pinball machine. Speaking of which, my son moved in with his wife in Derry, so we've got an extra VCR. Only thing is, he took all his videotapes with him, so we can't- Oh no, tapes are no problem. I've got lots of tapes. Plus, if we tell the guys that everyone's Very, bringing uh, in a couple of 80s. movies, then we- Look, I just need you to- Hey, what kind of movies you got? All sorts. Bloody Shirt, Bloody Shirt 2, Bloody Shirt 3, Bloody Shirt 4, um... Hard-Boiled Women, Demons on Fifth Avenue- And you've got that movie where this pilot is flying around the Earth, but he's running out of fuel over the ocean, so he makes a deal with Satan, um... and Satan sends him to fight an army of skeletons, <laughs> um... and a skeleton general, you can't fuck with him. Yeah, that's the wind blows into hell. One of my favorites. <laughs> Goes without saying, that's every man man's favorite movie. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> it does sound funny. When I saw him at the end when the girl throws the sword into the fire. Oh, spoilers, dumbass. Out of my chest. 
Betty almost needed to call the ambulance. I swear to God. <laughs> you need to take better care of yourself, old man. I've also got this movie. It's actually a cartoon, but it's for adults, you know? This guy gets the ability to undress people He's with just his going mind. anywhere, so deep people. So he goes into work, and he works in a bank. You know, and his open boss is a real bitch. Two, but the one. bitch has some great boobs. And she calls him over to her. <laughs> tomorrow. We'll just discuss it tomorrow. And she says there's some problem with this quarterly report. Yeah, she's just being, being ignored. <sighs> what the hell, Gail? Sit down and get ready to type. We agreed. Lily, we'll finish that damn letter of yours tomorrow. And if we're lucky, we'll even... Gail, take off your stupid hat and get back to your desk. I'm the sheriff and you'll do what I say. I'm the sheriff. <sighs> Lily, you do know. You don't have to be such a bitch, right? Well, if she isn't, then they're just going to walk all over her. Battier's gas station closes in half an hour, so if we don't finish this stupid letter in the next ten minutes, I'll be out of smokes until the morning. And if that happens, I'll be coming into work in a bad mood tomorrow. <laughs> and if I come into work in a bad mood, just I... Just shut up and type. Okay, okay. <sighs> I'm ready. And for God's sake, let's stop taking half an hour on every sentence, okay? First... Read what you've got so far. Of course, we won't be able to pay you serious money. It's like we won't be able to pay you anything at all. But I hope that you feel the same as me, that the safety of our native town of Sharpwood is a question of duty and honor and not of material gain. No, no, not just the last sentence. Read everything from the beginning. <sighs> Lily, come on. We're Read it from the top. <laughs> Dear Captain Carter, I imagine you've already heard the sad news that has prompted me to write you. I'll be frank. This letter you're holding is a plea for help. The police <laughs> department of Sharpwood right. was deprived. That's enough. I can't take it anymore. We'll just pick up where we left off. Do you think Captain Carter will even read this? <laughs> Lily, let's just finish it. And then... They got him. The guy from the flower shop, remember? He's one of the neckties. We're sure this time. Where are they taking him? Are they bringing him here? They already did. He's here. Did he have the goods on him? Has he said anything? What What does he know? Well, you want to find out? Or are you just going to sit there? Yeah, change of... No, hello. You got bodied up. What happened to him? Well, as far as I understand, he had a hard time getting into the car. <laughs> Come on, dumbass. Right. Didn't like getting out of the car either. And he really didn't like the stairs. And when we handcuffed him, wow, that was no fun at all. And then when he sat down on a <laughs> chair, he accidentally... Cut the shit, Charlie. <laughs> what? The sheriff asked a direct question, and I'm trying... Get out! All of you! Lily... I think it'd be best if you just... What's the problem, Gail? Isn't it best if the sheriff interrogates important suspects? Isn't it great when the commander takes a personal interest in the work? Don't you think? Okay, guys. You hear that? Let's get out of here. I was in frustration a lot. Sorry about that. Still have to put in the shortcuts to have this be hidden when I'll step out. Uh, okay, let's see. Wally Melton. Let's see. You and your friends lured Sharpwood's sheriff into an ambush and killed him like a bunch of cowards. Yeah, okay. I know it was somebody in your gang that murdered Sheriff Wells. Just uh, tell me who pulled the trigger. Okay. Uh, let's play good cop first. No, I'm not from around here, and this is the first time I'm hearing about this sheriff of yours. First time I've seen you too. What are you, some kind of secretary? Uh, immediately starting with the attitude. That's not going to come uh, do well for him. Let's see. Okay, not sure if that was heard. Let's see, talk about something else to drugs. Where do you keep them? As I understand, you never keep drugs at your base. Why is that? Not leaving here until you tell me where your hideout is. Let's see if that will provoke him. 
Where do you think I'm gonna talk to you? You can't even put two and two together. You even finished school? Maybe you should go enroll in cooking class or something. Yeah, it... Of course he's being defensive because he got roughed up by jackasses. Um, so he has... It is understandable that he'd be snappy like this, but also... Oh. They could have... If he is a part of it, he's, of course he's not going could to talk right away. Could at least hide the suitcase. What? All oh, this? It's just Charlie. Shut your trap and get ready to question the suspect. Lily, watch with the suitcase want, then. I just want you to. You do understand, Gail, that this will soon be over. All of this. You understand that, right? I know, Lily. I know. I need to finish writing that letter to Captain Carter. Hmm. What what is he doing with that suitcase? Is he just torturing him in there? Oh for love of that made me look at my own door. <laughs> It sounds so weird listening with the headphones. It's Mr. Nash again. Hello, my name is Bogdan. Are you satisfied with your water supply system? I bet you're not. I am here to solve your problem. I, uh, 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 excuse me, what? It's not so nice to run to the toilet outside in the cold, is it? Especially at our age. You go once, you go twice, and by then you've already frozen your butt off. <laughs> and it's lucky it's the only thing you've frozen off. Believe me, I know what I'm talking um, about. And you know what I'm talking about too, don't you? Uh, look, listen, this isn't my house. I'm just renting it. All the better. So the homeowner will pay for everything. While you will enjoy the new toilet in warmth and oh, comfort. Are you, uh, are you, are you selling toilets? You sell toilets at night? Don't be silly. We'll replace your whole water system. A new toilet in the house is, well, it's the cherry on the cake. <laughs> You're right, I'm here a little after hours. Uh, Mr. Um, well, you see, our farm is just taking its first yeah, this is suspicious as all shit. I can only visit my customers after I'm done with my day job. But a toilet inside your house is doubly good at night, right? <laughs> Do understand your needs, sir. I myself had to run to the toilet outside for 20 years every night. But when I finally got a toilet inside my house, I... Please go. Just... just go. I want you to leave. I know what you're thinking. You think that in such a small house there's simply no room I for I think this toilet. guy is a distraction. But I assure you, if you just allow me to come in for a moment... Leave right now. I'm asking you to leave. I just want to save both of us some time, that's all. I know that you'll change your mind. The next time you need to go in the middle of it's the night, way too you stubborn. Will remember me and think, damn, that guy was right. A toilet in the house is what every adult man needs. So why don't I've asked you to leave. You need to leave. Now. Please. All right, all right. But I bet you won't last a week before you change your mind. I'm telling you right now, you won't last a week. That could be taken as a threat. Yeah, this guy... It could just be that he's paranoid, but... Yeah, it is really freaking strange to have a salesman come at night. Hmm. Okay, it was arm. loaded even. Yeah. Holy. 
Who are you, Mr. Nash? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we we've got we've got stuff going on here. A town being overrun by a drug gang. Hmm. The old sheriff dead. And the new sheriff not being respected. Let's see. Dear Dylan, Oliver, and Edwards. I'd give anything to be sitting with you on the porch of your old house, smoking a cigar, talking and passing the time. I know you have a lot of questions for me and a lot of unpleasant questions. It's not hard to hear them in my head but it won't be so easy to find the right answers. Hmm. Is it true what they're saying about you? Uh, what the... Only crime was wanting to take care of myself and my family. I'm just sorry it took me that long. The crime was I trusted the wrong people. I was used and I was thrown in the trash. Hmm. Okay. So he has a history. And then again, everyone has some sort of histories. Others have just darker. Why did you flee from Freeburg? It's not that I ran away. <coughs> Pardon? I just needed time to regroup so I could go back and clear my name. Some uh, times retreat is the only way to victory. I ran because I didn't want to be killed in prison. I know so much about every influential scoundrel in the city that they would never let me live to see my day in court. Uh, uh, okay, uh, <laughs> you can cut it down on the piano there, whoever's playing with it. It's not me. Let's go with that one. Makes it sound more like we're intent to return someday. Why did mom really leave? Because she's decided to... Uh, about some... Okay. Uh, Sally, your grandmother once told me that I'm too old, that I don't have any energy, and that's why Laura left. I didn't uh, really understand what she meant at the time, but now it seems to me she hit the nail on the head. Let's go with that one. Uh, <laughs> let's not start slandering people. Or... Well, we don't know if it would be slander or accurate or not, so let's see. Did you have uh, an affair on the side too? Let's see, I wouldn't say that for one thing your mother had already left, and it's strange to call a relationship between two people an affair if they only talked on the phone and never met. It was your mother who had the affair. Everything that happened to me later was just an amusement. Yeah, that doesn't... That's not taking any responsibility. It's deflection. This is more acknowledging that something happened, but not as bad as it said. So let's go with that one. Why did you get in bed with the Mafia? <clears throat> Let's see, I didn't go to them, they left me no choice. When they threatened to hang your children's heads from a chandelier, you will exactly what they ask of you. No hesitation, no questions. Uh, I got in with them because the Mafia can't be defeated, only controlled. And looking at how, I, uh, how well I controlled crime in Freeburg, I'd say I'd managed things pretty well. Wait, so we're an ex-Mafia lead or something? Huh. That's at least, yeah. The, maf the mafia uh, is quite a thing. It, it's not. It's not called organized crime for nothing. Did you kill people? Let's see. I never killed anyone. I have many vices, but I'm no killer. I didn't kill anyone with my own two hands, but I gave orders that led to some deaths. Sometimes uh, these were bad people. Sometimes not so much. It's up to you whether you think that makes me a killer. Yeah, even if even if you only give the commands, you are still responsible as well. So let's own up to that. And that does make it sound like we got up in the ranks of the uh, <clears throat> of the mafia, and it would explain why this guy is so paranoid because uh, the mafia tends to remember. Even if you leave, it, it it's near impossible to leave the mafia in the first place. Let's see. I feel good, despite parting with your mother, fleeing from the feds, and surviving two comas. One thing I know for sure, I won't survive a third. Okay. <laughs> Heavy sarcasm, I presume. I'm not complaining, but I'm lonely. I'm afraid I'm not going to make any new friends here. Either way, new friends at my age don't lead anywhere, except another funeral. Uh, let's be realistic. It would The other one wouldn't fit too much in the rest of the 
in the, in the letter, I'd say. Why didn't you just retire? I, wait, I catch criminals, that's all I know, it's all I'm good at. I didn't retire because I loved my job and I, and I wasn't too old to keep doing it. Well, because I had nothing else to do. All I had left was an empty house in the dirty barn. What was I going to do? Farming? Oh, my tools rusted a long time ago. After a week of a retirement like that, I would have put a bullet in my forehead. Wait, what? Wait, where was he? A corrupt police officer? If he was with the mob work, it could be... Hmm. Maybe he was an infiltrator or something? Let's see. Hmm. Is it, is, I'm not is, sure Is this here. for Nash or... Is, is this the, the woman writing or Nash writing? I think it's Nash. Hmm. Let's go with that one. We don't want to make the recipients worry too much. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid I'll be caught locked in a cage and put on display like a circus freak. And the only power I have left is to bash my skull in the bars of my cell. I'm afraid that I won't have a chance to clear my name or even explain myself before the law, before Freeburg, and most importantly, before you. You deserve an explanation the most. That's why I'm running this letter. That one makes the most sense. What are you planning to do next? I've changed a lot, though. Uh, predictably, it's still... Uh, predictability is still not among my vices. I know I have to do something. The only question is how far I'll have to go. I can tell you. It's not that I don't trust you. It's that, that even I don't know what I'll have to decide ten minutes from now. Mm. Seconds. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I get the feeling there's going to be quite a bit of branching path lines in this game possible. Very possible. I was, I was sending along some cash as well. I think. I'm definitely intrigued. But this sounds like it could be a very long game. Ha! We could hardly shut the guy up. He wasn't so tough. I didn't even get to the phase three. <laughs> phase three is where we I'm... don't have a lot of time. They're moving their headquarters, but we should be able to nab most of them if we hurry. It's north of here, the old summer camp. But they never keep the goods at their headquarters. They always use a different place, usually an isolated house on the outskirts. Most of the time, these places have random tenants who don't even suspect that there's anything hidden under their floorboards. That way, Wait. the drugs can never be linked back to the neckties or the neckties to the drugs. You remember that little tavern called Frasetti? We went drinking there after graduation and broke that big mirror. Mr. Blaine's converted it into a house, and now he rents it out for almost nothing. Two weeks ago, an yeah, old that's man moved Nash. In. And under his floorboards, there's 27 kilograms of heroin. I'm starting to think that guy is leading us around by the nose. I bet there's four or five armed guards at the house. But you said it's a small place, right? Well, I bet there's two at least. I don't believe they just left the stuff under some old man's floorboards. Even if there is an old man living there, I bet he's in on it. Hey, maybe old man is just a nickname. What do you think? I bet he's a right cutthroat. How about Hunker you just shut up in the first place? Ready to ambush us. Maybe he already... Well, you and Corey, go check it out. Take two cars <laughs> in case it's not just an old man living in the house. Whoever you find there, bring them in. And don't forget about the heroin. Rest of you will come with me to storm their headquarters. Sound good to you, Lily? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hello. Okay, it's not going to look too well for <clears throat> on her. Ugh, what is with my throat now? On her authority that someone else is taking the lead more, but yeah, she probably was forced into it, really. And but yeah, we've hit the time mark, so we'll have to call it. I I am intrigued by the story of this. Let's see, all I events that require curious. your attention are displayed. Okay, is it going to hold our hand with this? Because we kind of need to exit out. Okay, we can just exit out. Hmm. If this game turns out to be a long haul, we could always put it on the list for edited uploads to YouTube. Maybe do... I'm unsure how to edit it, since a lot of it is story. 
Yeah, not, we, just, not cut out the story, of course. Maybe, maybe use a lot of chapters. Make uh, big videos where we just signal off in the chapters on YouTube where the story is, where the gameplay is, and uh, yeah, let people decide for themselves where to watch. Mm. It can might be a big game, so yeah, I guess we will see. Yeah, I did feel a bit annoyed yeah. about it. <laughs> Yeah, that's, most of that, we only had like five minutes of gameplay there. <laughs> yeah, and many of the, some characters are light, but many of the characters just started to go on my nerves. Yeah. For now, though, a decent batch. A tank mechanic simulator, I'll probably try that a bit on my own. Um, maybe if we, <clears throat> we could maybe put that uh, on Saturday every now and then. If we need something to talk over, yeah, but we already have a few games like that. Uh, tear down, yeah. maybe also for the weekends. Uh, wait, wait, which one? Tear down the the oh. big pixelated one. I'll have to find some way to lower, uh, well, to up the frame rate of it and such. Yeah, uh, see if that's a definite yes. I I'd say because again, I liked it. I put twenty one hours into that thing, so yeah, of course I like it. <laughs> And this is the police uh, too. Yeah, we we'll have to see how long that might take. Uh, um, <clears throat> maybe uh, most likely that would be for YouTube when we would eventually start with that. Yeah, we mostly uh, Hillen here usually uses a YouTube account as a archive mostly. Yeah. So. For now, I think uh, the test with the avatar probably went a lot better this time because I actually just put it on the normal screen uh, scene in OBS. Uh, <clears throat> again, I, I probably won't use this for everything, probably mostly for the weekend stuff. Uh, or maybe I'll just drop it for that, this as well eventually. It was mostly just for fun to see how this goes and such. Um... Yeah, anything else then? Hmm. Not that I can think of. Okay, let's just call it then. Uh, next week, we are starting with the DLC for Dishonored 2, Death of the Outsider. And yeah, we'll see what pops up on the weekend again. Probably more Hard Space Shipbreaker. And I finally got it right this time on the first time, I think. <laughs> I hope so. All right. Uh, yeah. Thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you especially, as always, Dukir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And uh, yeah, until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for seagulls.